Welcome back. Hope you had a really good weekend. It's Monday the 11th of February 2008. I'm Phil Campbell. This is The Gravity. Okay, just a few uh, sites that I'm going to go into today, which I'm just making people aware of because I think they're, they're pretty cool. Not from a perspective of being useful uh, to achieve um, a goal in terms of, you know, go to this site, utilize this service. There's a few today that I, I wanted to mention purely because of the aesthetics and also because of the way that they've gone about the website. The first one of those is super famous. Uh, superfamous.com. What I really like about Superfamous is a lot of time has been thought about how to integrate the look. They've got this full screen flash video, uh, although it doesn't go full browser because they've got like a right hand piece. But it's beautiful. The way it works, they've got like a, a little flash animation running in the background with like a bubble in some water. And uh, Superfamous is great because they, they have so many abstract artists on there and uh, it's a really good source of inspiration. If you are a designer or you're trying to design, uh, have some design ideas, there's some fantastic stuff to be found on Super Famous. And you know, even if you're just bored or it's late night and you want something to read, uh, Super Famous has some fantastic uh, articles on there from you know, fantastic designers all over the world. So check that out at superfamous.com. Uh, next one I want to talk about was um, from my Twitter. I, I found this the other day, um, probably two or three days ago. It's called Fav or Right or Favorite, which is F A V dot O R dot I T. Favorite or Favorite, I think that's what they're going at. Um, slicing the Web. It is their answer to the current separation of feed reading and commenting. This is great. Uh, we have built a web interface that lets you read all your favorite content and at the same time take part in the interactive community. This is fantastic. I, I personally think if they can bolt in there as well video commenting like uh, they have done at Vidler. Vidler have just opened up their API to allow video comments and built a, a WordPress plugin so that you can actually have video replies, which is fantastic. Um, if, if they can build into it video commenting as well, I think a lot of people still do textual comments, of course, but I would like to see video commentary. Um, I have a few ideas of my own that I've been trying to get round to doing and just got taken off it on to getting on some other project uh, to do with the actual video player. But yeah, check it out, favorite, F-A-O, F-A-V dot O-R dot I-T. Uh, it's also a blogging, uh, blogging, blogging platform letting you write your own blog posts and publish them onto the internet. On uh, top of this, you can republish any content to build up new and exciting mashups. Check it out, very cool site. This next one uh, appeals to me greatly because um, I've been looking, DivX doesn't get a, a good break. You know, Apple with their H.264, awesome codec. Um, DivX has had a bit of a backseat in terms of popularity, and I don't know why that's the case because DivX is as good or better than H.264, I consider it to be anyway. And they've done a real big push at getting uh, content onto set-top boxes. And uh, if Apple don't buy DivX in the next couple of years, there's something wrong with the world because those guys have worked really, really hard. Uh, on the flip side, they probably won't like the idea of me posting this, but I'm going to do that anyway. Uh, you might have heard of Stage6.com. Stage6 is DivX's platform for, uh, for uh, publishing video, and they're sort of YouTube for DivX, if you like. Uh, did I say that DivX was a really good format? I just wanted to get that in there again. Uh, this is Jukes.net, J-O-O-X.net. And uh, basically, it's a YouTube clone, uh, like Stage 6, into categories uh, of films. And they're full films, and they've also got anime, Bollywood cartoons, comedy stand-up sketches, documentaries, uh, foreign movies, subtitles, movies, music, sports. It's not going to last long. So I suggest that as soon as you've watched this clip, go and have a look what they've got. I managed to find some uh, Danger Mouse uh, cartoons in there from the 80s in brilliant quality so um, I've been waiting for them to release Danger Mouse on DVD and it's only recently that they have done that and I've not got around to it so it's great for me to be able to put it off here so that's jukes.net j00 x sorry oox.net all right next one uh, this is about the um, 
this is about the uh, the rainforests. Quite a scary, scary statistic. I mean, we all know that the the world is pretty much uh, pretty much in a, a right old mess with the old climate change right now. Uh, but the reason why I'm bringing this up is, is the way it's uh, the way it's written. Uh, this is at uh, let me give you the URL for this uh, purl.com m3v8. Uh, Nick from La Nick Loudmouth Man has asked, uh, can we have the uh, URLs as words because it doesn't make them very easy to find? And we're just playing around with a few settings because we've had a few problems with uh, purl.com. But leave it with us, we'll get it sorted. So that's purl.com m3v8. Uh, rainforest falling at alarming rate. Uh, from Brazil to Central Africa to once lush islands in Asian Acapelios, human encroachment is shrinking the world's rainforest. Uh, the land was so sounded decades ago by environmentalists and was little heeded. The picture, meanwhile, has changed. Africa is now a leader in destructiveness. The numbers have changed. UN specialists estimate 60 acres of tropical forest are felled worldwide every minute. Up from 50 a generation back. And the fears have changed. Experts still warn of extinction of animal and plant life or the loss of forest, people's livelihood or soil erosion and other damage. But scientists today worry urgently about something else, something else the fateful feedback link of trees and climate. Cl global warming is expected to dry up and kill off vast tracts of rainforest and dying forests will feed global warming. Uh, if we lose forests, we lose the fight against climate change declared more than 300 scientists, conservation groups, religious leaders and others in an appeal for action at December's climate conference in Bali, Indonesia. Um, I don't know how you feel about this, but personally, we have too much choice. And choice is driven by consumerism and money. And we will buy options, choice, and spend money on, you know. And the problem is there's no way to go back. You know, we have got used to this lifestyle and some people have got used to having things uh, provided to them. And it's a scary fact, really. I, I'd like to say that I think we'll sort it out, but I personally don't think we will. I think people have got used to the quality, the ones who do have a quality of life. Obviously, there's millions worldwide who do not. And that's gonna, that figure is going to increase. And so sometimes we have to take a stand and stand back and say, hey, you know, we're not doing enough here, really. Um, even the basic stuff. I don't know how you feel about it. I'd like to get some sort of replies back on it. I think a lot of people are concerned about it, but that's where it stops. Um, I think if we were enabled more, maybe by the governments, subsidised more to do things, to get things started... Uh, maybe give us some sort of initiative for solar, for instance. I think that would help. But then again, you've got the money men saying, well, we're going to lose out, when really the, there'll be no world to lose out to if they don't do something about it. So it's a 50-50 situation, isn't it, really? I could go on a topic of that for uh, the, the whole of the programme, but uh, I'm sure you'd be absolutely bored to death of me talking about it for 10 minutes it is a big topic and I don't think it's I don't think you can do it justice within the space of 10 minutes all right next thing uh, social graph API purl.com mbstow mbsto um, mind the web socially tag links Google social graph API launched uh, if you don't know what a social graph is it's basically a way of finding all the information or media or text or blogs that a person has. Uh, so instead of having like a Twitter account there and another account there and another account here, it's almost like an RSS feed of sorts for your social graph. And Google has put together an API for it. Um, and like it says on this page, did you know there's a way to tag links on pages to indicate social connections? I heard about this vaguely, but you can bet there's going to be much more public awareness of potential use thanks to Google launching its new Google social API. Now available, the API allows uh, developers to discover socially labeled links on pages and generate connections between them. Pretty cool. Another thing I want to talk about quickly, ultramobilelife.com. They have loads and loads of stuff on there about the UMPC. Um, I've been looking at this uh, cloud book, really low power, uh, low energy, uh, very green. And, uh, you know, we don't need these super behemoth MacBook Pros if all we're going to do is post on Seismic and, and have a look over the web. And I think it'd be ideal to have a, a more of a lightweight thing. Um, next thing, also quickly before I disappear, 
uh, TechCrunch UK. I didn't realise there was a TechCrunch in the UK. It's at uk.techcrunch.com. And uh, congratulations to uh, Tyler. I think her name is Tyler. I can never remember her name properly. Uh, they've been posting loads on it, so the the, uh, the blog's gone. But she's basically got uh, executive. She's now got an executive role in terms of uh, organising events in the UK. So that'll be awesome. That's me for today. I will be back tomorrow. And uh, don't forget, Gravity at uh, socialninja.tv. Thanks. Bye.